Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we'll have a look at 5 different tips in Odini that I believe are interesting to know. So let's start on how to project a spherical HDRI on, onto geometry in case you want to do some spatial lighting. As you can see I have this HDRI projected into simple geometry and for the material I am using the material X like unlit with the image connected to the emission color. So the idea here is to start with simple shapes like a grid and adjust your projection to fit the floor. Then you can start to extrude the walls and create other shapes. In the UV project set the type to polar which is a spherical projection. Then looking at your image you can transform the projection accordingly with the translate and rotation gizmos. And I am adding some simple assets and a shadow catcher at the end. In this case I will recreate the lighting so it makes sense to make the set geometry invisible in the final render but still contributing to the lighting. You do that with the render geometry settings and under render visibility set it to invisible to primary rays. Adding the lights and a camera then you want to preview your backplate in the render, for that use a background plate node, add your shadow catcher object and the image. And in the end you'll have your objects added to the backplate. This is a very simple setup but should give you an idea of the workflow. So the second tip is about track planner projections. As you might know, in order to change the tiling, we need a position node with a multiply. As for the offset, you can use an add node. And as you can see, by default, we have quite a repetitive pattern along these seats. The first thing we can do to avoid repetition is to set the position node space to world. But still, we have repetition. So what we can do is use the add node to introduce some random offsets and that's what I'm doing with this attribute. Each seat will have a different offset in the X, Y and Z position for the triplanar projection. And you probably know how I have created that attribute, just with an attribute randomize. Don't forget to pack your geometry if you have multiple meshes, so it creates a point for each object. In this one I am just sharing someone else's work that created an awesome HDA to import fspy files into Odini. Basically you align your image in fspy and save it as a JSON file. In Odini you add the fspy cam loader HDA, add the JSON and image file and finally just hit read file and create camera. It can also do camera projections. Having the camera and image in place you can start to do your image based modeling. I'll leave a link in the description, it's totally free. So this one is actually an update to what I've shared already on the channel. It's about random rotations and how to have control over the orient attributes when scattering geometry. I have a box that I want to scatter in this terrain, but would like to give it some random rotation where I can control the angles and possibly orient them along the normal. So between the scatter and the copy to points I have this wrangle. As you can see I can control the rotation min and max for all axis, have a seed value if I don't like the results. I can also orient the instances along the normal of the terrain without losing the initial rotation and finally offset the geo from the terrain in case we have floating instances. The code is quite basic as I'm still learning VEX but works pretty well. Basically we are creating a vector from the random rotations along with some UI channels for the min and max rotation. At the beginning I have a channel to control the surface orient. Then in the statement if it's checked I can use this function to set the orient attribute. In a new variable I am using the Euler to quaternions function to convert the values in degrees. And finally we can multiply the existing orient attribute with the new one. 
At the end I just have an offset along the Y axis or the normal. So let's say you want to add some color or gain variation to leaves in a tree, but the geometry is merged. First you need to isolate the target geometry and create a connectivity node. Then in a wrangle you can create an attribute between 0 and 1, giving the class attribute from the connectivity as the seed. Pretty simple but works well, I have done the same thing for the leaves. And in Solaris I am controlling the gain of the leaves with the attribute connected to a ramp. Using it also for the fruits, but this time to set the base color. So yeah, hopefully you got something out of this, and don't forget to check my Patreon where I share project files and exclusive tutorials and tools. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.